Last year, Richard and I made a decision that we wanted to change our lifestyle. We wanted to change our life. And so we decided that we wanted to move overseas. There were a few reasons for this. And part of it was wanting to, to have the freedom to choose the way that we live and to work to live as opposed to live to work. Uh, we've both worked and studied really, really hard for many, 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 many years. And we both felt that it's time for a change. It's time for a shift based on a whole bunch of stuff that, that happened in our lives. To that end, we have developed and are building businesses that are location neutral. We both work online so that we can work from anywhere that we are in the world. Um, and we want that to be as flexible as possible so that we are able to choose our working hours uh, with the intention of being able to travel more. We've selected Montenegro for a couple of reasons. So in just over a month, we will be flying to, to Montenegro and settling in there. This does mean moving our cats as well, which is going to be interesting. I don't think that they're going to be very happy with the move, but there's no way we're leaving them behind. Uh, it's a very exciting adventure. It's a very exciting chapter for us. It's also extremely daunting adjusting to the transition of working for a company, even you know one that I, I, I helped to found and build versus working completely on my own is, is quite an adjustment. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint hearted um, and it is certainly a lot harder for those of us with a fixed mindset who are perfectionists. So that is a challenge. Um, and adjusting to the idea of living in a different country uh, where we don't speak the language um, is going to be very interesting. It's really beautiful. We have been there before and um, we are now in the process of getting rid of as much stuff as possible so that we can travel light and this will enable us to travel easier and travel more. We are both very blessed that we are both professionals who have the ability and have the flexibility to to try something like this art and to change our lives and structure it the way that we want. There's no question that there are um, challenges for us. There's no question that it is tricky and that it is hard work, but we have each other. We've got the support of, um, you know, we've got the support of our families and having both of us able to do this together is, is very important. The more that I look at it, um, you know, I watch people around me, I watch, um, you know, the students that I, that I lecture, that I work with, and um, more and more I realize that, you know, freedom is something that we're all looking for to some degree or another. And there's no question that the qualification that I worked so hard to get has helped and is helping provide me with the freedom that I'm looking for. The freedom not to sit in traffic on a daily basis, the freedom not to be working, um, you know, work hours. I'm very happy to work in the evenings, but I don't like getting up early in the mornings. Um, that shouldn't change, you know, that doesn't impact my productivity and my effectiveness. But when you're working in the corporate world, it, it often is, it's very tricky to structure your life and to structure your time the way that you want. So freedom for the generation up and coming is, is becoming more and more important. So this type of thing is becoming more and more prevalent. I'm seeing more and more people make decisions like this. And I'm very excited to see that. So I'm sharing this journey in, uh, in that light. One, uh, you're working towards a profession that provides you with options Two, no matter what profession you have, you still need to work hard. Uh, three, entrepreneurship is not a joke. Um, it, is, uh, it is fulfilling. It is exciting. It is stressful. It is traumatizing. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is uh, stay tuned for the next, the next chapter in the adventure of the Starkies. <laughs>